Hey guys, so please excuse the fact that I look extremely pale. I don't know if it's, it's gotta be the lighting because looking down in my mirror, <laughs> everything looks fine. Um, I'm also filming in a different spot today so that I have space. I'm going to film a get ready with me video and my Ipsy unboxing, unbagging, whatever video because I have a feeling there's some things in here I might want to use because every month I get ready and then <laughs> I filmed this and then I always wish that I hadn't got ready so I could use some products in here and try them out. So excuse the uh, filming situation, um, I'm going to unbag or unbox, ow there's something in my eye, okay, <laughs> I'm going to unbag this and then I'm going to film a get ready with me and I went ahead and did my foundation and my eyebrows so I don't look crazy, but I do look crazy so I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, let's jump right into it. Ooh. Okay, this month's uh, theme, brain fart, this month's theme is Hello Spring. And it says, we're having a spring fling with Flawless. Celebrate the season with a spotlight on radiant, selfie-ready Skin, a flushed cheeks, and a fresh kick of color on eyes or lips. Ooh, yay. Sounds like there's a lip product in here. I'm, I'm like a sucker for lip product, guys. Like, every time I get a lipstick or anything like that, I freak out. Like, that's my favorite thing to get in boxes. That and brushes, of course, which, you yeah, know. I feel like you can't ever have too many brushes. So this is what the bag looks like this month. It's like a peach and green color, and I feel like I'll definitely be using this this summer. Just as a like throw my crap in there and go kind of bag. And look at my nail polish. I so springy together. Um, and hey, happy St. Patrick's Day, guys. So let's jump right into this. Ooh, the first thing I see is a lip product. I got to talk about this. Okay, it is the NYX Liquid Suede. Oh, I can't talk tonight. Today. <laughs> NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick. <laughs> In 08, there's got to be a color on this. I'm sure there's a color on it. Oh, in LSC 08, L whatever, Pink Lust, Passion Rose. Oh my gosh, the lighting. I'm so sorry. I apologize, guys. The lighting is just not the best right here. I don't know why, because... see if I can get it open. I always have to use my teeth, which I know is like bad for your teeth, but you know, you know. I got it! Okay, this is what it looks like. Now you can see the color a little bit better. And the top has a little black rhinestone. How cute is that? Let's see what the applicator's like. Oh, I thought it was going to be like a doe foot applicator, but it's more like, it's like that doe foot applicator texture, but it's more of a stick. I don't know. I don't know. And it's like bendable. I'll probably actually wear that today. I think that would look cute with green. Actually, maybe not. I don't know. Right. Let's, let's watch it. Ooh, holy crap, Ola. That is like Barbie hot pink. Like, I don't think I own anything like this because I normally would not go for a color this bright. It does, it's not even like doing it justice on camera how hot pink and like neon this color is. It's much more neon in person than it is on camera. So there's that. I don't have any idea what I'm going to wear that with, but I will find something because that is just so springy and beautiful and I'm obsessed now. Okay, the next thing I see is, oh my god, seriously, is another, this is like the, I don't know, I feel like between the three subscription boxes that I get every month, I have a gazillion liquid eyeliners. This is a liquid eyeliner by Scone Cosmetics, insanely intense tattooed waterproof eyeliner in jet black, and I always get them in black, I never receive like... <laughs> 
I never receive like brown or anything like that. It's always black. <laughs> and I feel like every month, 90% of the boxes that I receive, I get an eyeliner in. I mean, I'm not complaining because my liquid liners, of course, they dry up and all that. And it's nice to try new products, new products that you are going to use on a daily basis, which I do wear liquid liner on a daily basis. But at the same time, it's like, oh, that could have been replaced with something that I would rather try, you know? I don't know. My phone is trying to tell me it's dying. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, so now that I got it open, this is what the applicator looks like. Let's see. Oh, it's super, oh, it's super liquidy. And the applicator is like bendable. So it's really dark and pretty, and let's see how it dries, and I'll let you guys know what I think. Let's see how fast it dries. Yep, still drying. Okay. Um, hmm. I don't know. I'm not, like, unhappy about that because I'll use it, but, again, it's like, if I want a liquid liner, I'll just go to the drugstore and get my favorite one. Okay, I believe it's dry now, and it does still have a bit of a shine. I don't think you guys can see that, but it's got quite a bit of a shine left to it after it's dry, which I don't know how I feel about that. I'm going to use it today, actually. I think I'll use it today on my eyes and see what I think. It's so good. It's good. And uh, also, not smudging at all. Not going anywhere, which, holy crap, I'm like really... Rubbing that hard. Okay, I had to super, like, hard rub that to get it to go anywhere. Ah, I just stuck my finger in this. Okay, well, that's going places. <laughs> but it feels like it's drying. Like, it's starting to dry. I don't know if that's going to dry matte. Liquid suede, so, I mean, suede's kind of matte. If that's what they're going for. Let's see if that dries matte. Okay, the next thing I received is a bronzer, and it looks to be an airbrush, like for an airbrush machine bronzer, which I don't own an airbrush machine, but I'll still use this if it's nice. Like, this is what it looks like. It is the Temp 2 Bronzer in Warm Glow. Let's see what it... Oh, okay. Let's throw it. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, you barely have to squeeze it at all to get some out. Let's blend that out. I know. That's super dark for my skin tone. Let's see how well it blends out. Oh, it blends out pretty well, but it's really orangey. Like, I have to say, I don't know if I will use this. It's so orange, guys. Like, after blending it out, huh, that's some orange bronze. And I think it's way too dark for my skin tone. Maybe I'll try to work with it today. Mm, I don't know if I want to look orange today. Just saying. Not that I really would want to look orange any day. <laughs> any day. But maybe I will try that out today. Oh my gosh. Can I just say, when you get this liquid liner wet, it goes everywhere. Like, <laughs> So there's a little tip. If you uh, mess up your wing and you're trying to remove your wing, be careful because this stuff goes everywhere. And it looks like that lipstick is matte now. So I like that a lot better, actually. It is, like, still extremely hot pink. Like, super, like, the color did not change when it mattified. You know how some lipsticks, the color will completely, like, darken when it mattifies. I like that it did not change at all. So maybe I will wear that today. Pink and green. Let's see if we can pink and green look cute together yeah i think that'll be fine and <laughs> it's not coming off my hand so that's good in a way i mean it might stain okay let's jump back into the bag the last two products this one is a brush yay i love getting brushes <sighs> my son is crazy this one is an eyeshadow brush by oh my god i cannot read that by Boo Gashis. I don't know. I don't know if you guys can tell. What the hell that is? By Boo Gashis Paris. Paris. Gashis. 
Sorry, I'm like butchering that. It's just an eyeshadow brush. Which, I'm not complaining. I can always use more of these. Awesome. And I never buy myself brushes. Like, I brought, I bought like a big pack of brushes. And since then I haven't bought brushes. I just get them in my subscription boxes. You are crazy. Calm down. I just get them in my subscription boxes. And that works for me, so. <laughs> and the last thing I see is Mark Anthony True Professional. Nourishing Argan Oil and Morocco 3-Day Smooth Perfect Blow-Dry Smoothing Serum Holds hair straight, frizz-free, and shiny for up to 3 days for all hair types infused with keratin. I don't really blow-dry my hair. I don't blow-dry my hair, but I might apply this to my hair before I straighten it if I was going to straighten my hair and see what I think about it. It says, let's see, is it a heat protector? Yeah, it says apply to wet or damp hair. Apply evenly through damp hair from roots to ends. Blow dry to create a frizz free smooth finish. Oh, it says keratin and vitamin E protect against heat styling. Hair is left gloss glossy until smooth and full of body. So it is a heat protectant as well. It's nice. Mm. Smells kind of fruity. Okay, so let's jump right into the get ready with me. That was my Ipsy this month. I hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> I'm going to jump right into the get ready with me and I'll see if I'm going to use that. There's something all over my nose. I'll see if I'm going to use this lipstick after I do my face and you know, all that and see what I think. Um, today I think I'm just gonna do kind of a natural look with some green <laughs> pop. If my son will behave enough for me to film a video. Wow, this is 12 minutes already. Okay, let's jump right in. I'm going to start off with my bronzer. I'm going to use this in the crease. Oh my god, sorry. I'm gonna use this in the crease of my eyes for Kind of a transition shade, just so that everything is smooth. And excuse me if I'm not looking at the camera. I have a mirror down here that I'm going to be looking at. And I'm only going to do one eye on camera, just to, you know, save some time here. Excuse me if I get quiet. What should I talk about? What should I chit chat about? I don't know. I always feel awkward filming these because I never know what to talk about. Let's talk about baby daddy drama. <laughs> oh my god, guys. You have no idea. Like, I'm sure some of you do, actually, now that I mention it. My baby daddy is crazy. Like, I don't know what he's planning. Okay, I'm going to use this new brush. And I'm going to use a color from the... Ow, my back. From the NYX Love and Florence palette. Sunsets with Sophia palette. I'm gonna use this pink color. And I'm just gonna apply that all over my lid and blend, blend, blend. Oh, I like this brush, guys. It's kind of pokey though. I have to say, like, this brush is kind of stabbing my eyelid. I'm also going to apply that to my inner, inner corner, green part, and my brow bone. And I'm just using the same brush for all of that because I'm lazy and I don't feel like getting a different brush. Just I'm honest. This is not coming off on camera like at all. I apologize. <laughs> okay. So next I'm going to go in with this eyeshadow I just got from Makeup Geek from my BoxyCharm unboxing, if you guys watched that. Um, it's called, it's the color called Coco Bear. And this is what it looks like. It's like a reddish brown. I thought it would look really pretty with, you guys, like, color payoff is not happening. And I'm going to use that same Coastal Sense brush, kind of fluffy crease brush, and apply that to mainly the outer corner and up into the crease. 
this color is so gorgeous. This is the first time I'm using this color, clearly. Okay, that's a little more intense than I had anticipated. So let's blend, blend. And fuck it, I'm just gonna go all the way into the creeks. Okay, this color is a lot more orangey than I first anticipated. But it's still pretty. Blend, darling, blend. Okay. And I just went down under my lash line just a tiny bit on the outer edge with that. That's what it's looking like. A bit more orange than I had anticipated, so I'm going to go back in with that Love in Florence. Sunset with Sophia palette and grab this glittery black color, a tiny, tiny bit of that, and apply it to just the very outer corner. And I'm just using that same brush again because, like I said, I'm lazy and I don't feel like grabbing another brush. This is why I have to clean my brushes constantly. <laughs> I spot clean my brushes. I don't know if you guys do that. Because I'm lazy and I, I only clean my brushes like once a month, maybe, if that. If I'm being honest, maybe like once every two months because I'm really, like, lazy. I'm such a procrastinator when it comes to cleaning my brushes. Anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye like this off camera. Okay, guys, so I went ahead and did the other eye. And now I'm going to apply that eyeliner that I just unboxed to my top. I look on my eyelid. I hope you guys are going to be able to see this because I'm looking down at this mirror. I have to say, I'm loving that freaking Makeup Geek eyeshadow that I just used. And holy crap, this eyeliner is so watery that I, it's like impossible to work with. Okay, this is not where I was going with this one. It's a little bit like sketchy. Like, I don't know how. Oh, God, and it's smeared. I don't know how better to explain this other than like it's so liquidy that it's like almost impossible to work with. I have to say, like, so far I'm not liking this at all. I like the brush, it's just so liquidy. Like, My son is distracting me. I cannot get a smooth line with this. Oh my god. I'm getting annoyed. It does not look even at all. I have never been so annoyed with eyeliner. Like, I don't ever struggle this much to get my wing right. The struggle's real, guys. That is so jacked up. Like, is it just me? Like, that looks so jacked up to me. Okay, mid stock mix stuff and you need to hush. That looks really like bad. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. It's like really sketchy. Like this wing is so thick over here compared to this one. Now I have to thicken this one up to match this one. But this one is so thick because I could not get a straight like line. I don't know. 
I finished doing the rest of my face makeup because my camera died and I'm gonna hurry this before my camera decides to die again. So I'm gonna take the Tristique Mini Shadow Crayon in Aspen Pine and I'm gonna go under my lash line with that. I went ahead and applied all my like bronzer and all that. Okay, that needs to be blended. <laughs> I'm gonna take a small concealer brush. This is the Luxie 211 concealer brush, and I'm gonna blend that out a little bit because it's a little darker than what I had originally planned. Again. And that's what that looks like. I just applied that really patchy and like soft to the under my lash line. Okay, we're going a little darker than what I had planned on doing today, so I might just go ahead and throw on some eyeliner too. That's what that looks like. And then I'm going to take the Coastal Scents Style Eyes eyeshadow sampler, and this shadow does not have a color, unfortunately. It's this green color. And I'm going to take this brush. It is the Royal and Lane Nickel BX95 brush and put a little bit of that on the tip of the brush just right. and apply that over that green just to kind of brighten it up. My phone is warning me again that it's going to die. I'm trying to get this filming done before my boyfriend and our kids get home because I don't know why I just hate filming in front of people. Especially when I'm doing like a makeup video. That's my son. And that's what that looks like. A little bit of pop of green and it's just not coming off on camera like I want it to. But it looks a lot brighter in person than it is. So now I'm just going to curl my lashes and apply my mascara. Okay. Mascara, mascara. What did I do with it? Maybe if I could find it. Oh. And I'm going to be using the Stila Huge Extreme Last Mascara. And I'm assuming black. It's crazy. Back there giggling. Okay, and then I think I am going to wear the hot pink lipstick because, you know, whatever. I'm just going to kind of rub my moisturizer in there. Let's see what this looks like. It's like a hot Barbie pink, guys. Like,
So that's what that looks like. And I'm loving this pink, holy crap. You have no idea how bright it actually is in person. It is so much brighter in person than it is getting on camera. Like, it's like Barbie hot pink. Like, here's my beauty blender. And this crap is brighter than my beauty blender. And the beauty blender is pretty freaking bright. So, you know. There's that. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And thanks for watching. Please hit the thumbs up button. I always want to say like button because I'm a Facebook fanatic. Anyway, hit the thumbs up button and please feel free to comment and subscribe. Again, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy these videos because I really enjoy making them and I will see you guys soon.